Hello and welcome to Idol Research Episode 2. Today we'll prestige for the first time. I stopped playing for 3 days after making Episode 1, so these are the gains I got. It will enable me to make decent progress and move towards my goal to prestige and I have certain objectives in terms of golden flash, that's what you get when you prestige. I'm gonna go into uh, crafting here and as I'm buying more slots, because I have a lot of energy, I just want to tell you something before I forget. There is a demo on Steam, it's free. You can reach up to 1E100 energy. Check it out if you're interested in trying this game out. And it takes quite a while to reach 1E100 energy in terms of hours. Body Boy, my friend from Perfect Hour 2, played uh, more than a full day to reach that point. So you'll have a chance to play for several hours. By the way here, I'm completely unable to balance my uh, flask income. I have a deficit for certain flasks. We'll talk about this a bit later. I'm gonna show you that. So here I have access to new accelerators. I'm gonna be playing with this slider. It's a bit annoying, but I'm gonna stop doing that eventually. I'm just gonna go 100% all the time. Maybe not for... Uh, the one that costs 100 QT below, but that's later in the episode. Anyways, I have access to, yes, crafting count, but most importantly, energy gains. Very strong. And I'm about to stop playing with the slider and uh, come to my senses and buy this unlock energy gains. And you're going to see the difference. And that's what going to mean to make me... Uh, make a lot of progress look from one to five times and that's nothing i'm gonna go way way higher than this and flask crafting counts so every time you craft you get more so multiply it by 2.5 and there's diminishing returns so over time you get less and less for the same amount of money but still money or energy but still it's pretty good and there's also some accelerators you can unlock you see fire flash there researching 3.00-5 this threw me off for some reason i'll talk about this later in the episode it really threw me off it's three out of five but 3.00-5 i didn't understand this but anyways, and this thing, DTG, I'm going to fix that because we're going to go scientific notation in a moment. See the red? So I'm in deficit for orange flask. That means I need more orange flask. That means I'm losing orange flask and I need to find a balance. And I'll figure this out later. I'll learn how to do it. And here again, 10 DTG. What does that mean? So I'm going to fix that. I understand up to 20 trillion, 20 trillion, 20 trillion. And I got 16 uh, golden flasks. My goal is 100. 100 golden flasks. Let's go scientific notation so I can understand what I'm seeing. Okay, so that's the forbidden button we were talking about. Flask promotion, 1E100 golden flask. Look at that 1E1000. I did not understand this long acronym. 1E1000. That's a big number. We're going to research. I believe these are green flasks. These clips are going pretty fast. So see, I'm in deficit here. And if I go back, now I'm all balanced. I'm making profit everywhere. And that's the goal. You don't want to lose flask. But there will be a point where I'm going to be uh, getting a new type of flask that I cannot balance things out. So I'll find a trick. I'm going to show it to you. Okay, what else? Accelerators, 31 times energy gain already i was times one what a minute or two ago so it's not bad it's doing pretty good 35 golden flash that goes 100 just in case it's plus one percent um, income per flash but that's not the case at all it's in more generous than that you'll see so i want to fly for a certain amount of time i think i was researching something I'm not showing how long I was gone, but um, let's see what I'm going to do here. Oh, the green flask. So I was researching green flask. That's why I left the game for a little bit. 
and things are all nice and balanced right now so that's good and we'll unlock one more flask uh, in this episode and that's the flask that there's not enough space for it and always gonna be in deficit here i'm trying to add more green flask but i just can't i need more spaces more slots for flask but that's good i'm fine with that so let's uh, try to increase our energy gains look at that 49 times now and that's nothing i'm gonna go way higher than this once again 39 golden flask making progress slowly and look at those numbers it's getting more interesting 51 you see and that's not a big jump cut either i didn't leave for that long and uh here I have access to oh yeah I was uh, I added a spot but I didn't expect it to be so expensive for automation by the way the good news is crafting automation remains after prestige I will never have to buy those again they're really expensive I was stuck using uh, oh look at that one or two times energy gains yeah I was stuck uh, creating green flask manually for a while and these numbers are even higher and let's see how much time i left e20 energy that's gonna help a lot i left for 12 hours and i researched blue flask i will research for blue flask right now and this is about an hour 3200 seconds is about an hour a little less than that uh, and we had 73 golden flask and look at that flask crafting cost this one is a bit disappointing though look at that i get minus 0. Point, it's like 1.5 percent that's it and i was playing for the slider again trying to see the effect it doesn't it goes to 0. 0.014 so i guess uh, 1.5 percent less flask crafting costs so it's disappointing but in the future when i get tons of energy one of the goals is 237 here let's see how much i get no that's where i'm at that's big improvement compared to times one or times five yeah much later i'll be able to get a better reduction than this and here 1e21 i'm very close to be able to automate this but I think I'll burn it on this. Look at that. 237. 441. That's becoming interesting. It's going to help me a lot into reaching my goal of 100 golden flask. But I have to do this manually for a while until I reach 1E21, which is not too hard at this point. And I'm at 76 making progress. Okay, here. I have access to blue flask here I'm showing that I get into deficit so what I did is I put blue flask everywhere okay so I burned green flask it cost me green flask I put blue flask everywhere temporarily okay and check it makes my green flask 12 times stronger and then I went back to a balanced system without uh, blue flask and these, <laughs> oh yeah, unlock fire flask. Whenever you research a flask, you earn fuel flask. Fuel flasks are used to produce fire flask, used for upgrades. By the way, fuel flasks really look like green flask. And we'll talk about this next episode. So my goal is to look at this next episode, but I'll be a little bit too curious and start leaking around. 92 here, you're getting close. But I'll start leaking around in the fire flask by accident. And this is where you see 5.00 out of 5. Instead of just saying 5 out of 5, I don't know why there's digits. It really throws me off for some reason. Anyways, I said, okay, that's what it was. That's why I have access to fire flask. And they stay after prestige, which is great too. 700 times energy gain, 860. We're very close for prestiging anyways. Then... You unlock accelerator generators. So there's a button below energy here and uh, 
it automatically produces acceleration based on my uh, energy per second. That's me being too curious. I was supposed to do this next episode. Maybe I was going to call this next episode Fire Flask. We'll see. I need to stop clicking around like this. I was too curious. I'm really uh, excited about the games. I'm like clicking around and discovering stuff, but I had to record because that pop-up maybe would have never come back, you know? So this seems weak. E17, right? That's what it gives me and I need E21, but after a prestige is going to be very useful. We'll see that next episode. See, I reached my goal. So we're going to prestige now and see what happens. Lose all your flash research crafting slots and accelerators for golden flask. So if you look bottom right, 8.51 times stronger flask and 1.89 times crafting speed, which is more than I expected. Once again, in many games, I would have maybe doubled my income or something. It's way more than this. So it's very nice. And I'll get to keep my fire flask and the automated research, which is nice. You see the cooldown thing? I'm under the impression over time it's gonna be longer or something like this, but I already reached the cooldown requirement. And after 25 golden flasks, I can prestige again. And you'll see in uh, achievements why it's important. So I decided not to touch anything because next episode I wanna show how fast I can recover from prestige. And I was delighted to see that Fire flask are still there. They're staying. We'll talk about fire flask next episode in way more detail than this because there's a lot to see. And I'm pointing to the color here, very confusing with the normal green flask, but that's all good. Unlockables, nothing to see here. And these are the achievements. I was looking around and what caught my attention, not this one but this one prestige 1000 times so i'm gonna have to speed prestige that's why i was saying uh, the cooldown might be important i'm hoping to be able to speed prestige to get that last achievement the goal would, will be to get everything so here is a pretty pathetic end screen so i decided to at least craft the red flask and get a little bit of income for the final screen of the video <laughs> So let's just research this. It just takes 10 seconds. So while this happens, yeah, next episode we'll just recover from that prestige. We'll look at Fire Flask. And uh, just doing that will take a certain amount of time. I want to make maybe between 10 and 15 minute videos. So I think uh, a full recovery and looking at Fire Flask next episode. Sounds like a good plan. So I hope you liked this episode. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.